All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all are doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path that you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoons, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son died for our sins. There are so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. So always thank him, keep him first, praise him, worship him, and always trust him with everything you got going on in your life. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, amazing things. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the services, and the fellowship. Much love to the previous martyrs, current martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, courageous, isolated, bold believers out there who are going through it for the faith, who are being persecuted for the gospel, who are going through tribulations for his namesake. Stay encouraged, firm, and steadfast, and be on point, people. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the converts out there, all the brand new creatures of Christ, all the people who just got baptized. God bless you. All the people who just repented. God bless you. All the people who just became a believer and just started a new life. God bless all of you. Greetings, family, shalom, everybody, most definitely. Welcome, everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound. Crowd to him, dance, express yourself, sing a song, play an instrument. Do what you got to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night, in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. So let's be watchful, let's be alert, sober, vigilant, prayed up. Let us stay on our purpose and calling. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, visions, and encounters, and various ways of communication. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our gifts, our situations, handle it, people. Any assignments or tasks the Father gave you, handle it, people. Let us keep being washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us constantly be renewed, people, transformed people. And let us keep our lamps and oils, amen. Keep the word of God. Keep the commandments. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep, keep everything all together for the Lord, amen. Most definitely stay strong out there, okay, people? Now, in today's message, what I would love to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scriptures, and go through the commentary as well. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. All right, today's Bible reading is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 6, verses 1 through 10. Recommended reading is the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verses 10 through 14, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verses 1 through 21, and also the book of John, chapter 3, verses 22 through 36. The title of this commentary is Priority One. 
Even if you're not a diehard fan, at some point you've probably flipped channels and stumbled across a reality police show. You know the ones Aaron wild card chases, stupid criminals, or messed up couples engaged in nasty fights. The magnetic pull of these shows is powerful because it shows a side of life that not everyone otherwise glimpses. Watching what others try to get away with, overhearing their lame excuses, and observing how the cops handle the situation satisfy our morbid curiosity. If you watch enough footage, you soon learn that the domestic calls are the ones that strike fear in the heart of even the bravest police officer. When a man or woman learns of a cheating lover, the fireworks start. Emotions take over and people act outside their normal behavioral behavioral parameters. A mild man or wife becomes a venomous monster and otherwise and otherwise upstanding husband threatens murder. And during the crossfire between lovers, people get hurt. Jealousy is an emotion that overrides normal behavior. Its effects are unpredictable and volatile. But this passage shows us through the prophet Ezekiel that one of the emotions God demonstrates is righteous jealousy. Because of his holy nature, of course, God is incapable of out of control emotions or actions. Yet from the beginning of his relationship with Israel, God described himself as a jealous lover, as a consuming fire, a jealous God. He loved the Israelites and desired their faithful love in return. God saw their worship of other gods as adultery. Through Ezekiel, God warned that he wouldn't tolerate such acts because God created his people and chose them. They belonged to him. Despite God's warnings through his prophets, the Israelites still sought other gods. Eventually grieved by their adulterous hearts, verse 9, God rendered his judgment. In much the same way, God wants your love. He created and chose you. And he and he jealously desires you solely for himself. He doesn't want any person, any sporting event, any activity, any job, or anything else to stand in the way of his relationship with you. In case you think you're off the hook because Ezekiel warned only the Israelites, think again. Hundreds of years later, the Apostle James echoed the prophet's thoughts. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. James chapter 4 verse 4. So take some time to search your own heart. What other gods cause you to grieve God? What in the world lures you away from him? What pleasures or priorities complete first, complete for first place in your life? Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. What in your life, perhaps a person, an activity, or a job competes with God for your ultimate loyalty? What steps can you take to remove yourself from situations where other gods take priority over the true God? Why should you take these steps? What are the benefits of having nothing else standing in the way of your relationship with God? Amen. People keep God first forever. Amen. I speak for myself and everybody listening. Amen. Put him first, y'all. Praise the Lord. All right. So that is the commentary. All right. Well, I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, God of the Hebrews, God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high always forevermore. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Praise him. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. The advocate. Praise the most high, almighty, true living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega, amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, Eternal Life, Everlasting Father, Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born over all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Hair of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One. The high priest of the order of Melchizedek, the holy one, the holy one of Israel, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the 
house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my redeemer, my salvation, my strength, my song, my refuge, my shield, my buckler, my provider, my helper, praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician who can heal all things. He's the carpenter who can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days. The rest of the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust in him. Know what he could do for you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. Ask the father what you need in his son's name and it shall be given to you. We touch and agree. Double portion blessings, favor, peace over your life, help, recovery, whatever you're going through, the most high got you. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. We trust, we trust and agree on that most definitely. God is one. We are in the group the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We know that the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Our faith has made us well. Our faith has saved us. Our faith is how we overcome the world. Praise the most high he got us, y'all. Trust in him. Amen. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer. The resurrection and the right, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone to build is rejected, the true bread, the true God the true light, the true vine. He is the truth, amen. He is the way, hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word. Most definitely we touch and agree. His word is purified silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double S, or as the book of Hebrew says, amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So prayers up for all the poor people out there. Prayers up for all the widows. Prayers up for all the orphans. Prayers up for all the elders. Prayers out there for all the strangers, the sojourners. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for all people, all walks of life. Prayers up for all the elders, the babies, the children, the men, the women, the young men, the young women, the teenagers. Prayers up for parents. Prayers up for single people, divorced people. Prayers up for everybody in their situation. All walks of life, all social classes. Prayers up. Amen. Most definitely. So that is the word. All right. We know for sure that the Messiah is the everlasting king. He is a sinless high priest. So let us circumcise our hearts. Let us be blameless before our God. Amen. So there you have it. What I love to do as I close out is give y'all a prayer and a priestly blessing on the way out. Okay, so here we go. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.